Hi guys, welcome back. This is Erin from Paint Those Piggies and today I have my comparison swatches of the OPI Peru collection. I did see everybody's comments on Instagram and on YouTube asking for comparisons and um, I just wanted to mention that if you don't see a color that you requested, either I don't have it or um, I think there was one that I thought I had but I couldn't find. I just wanted to say that I didn't ignore anybody's suggestions, I just didn't have um, all the polishes but I did every single um, polish that I got requested that I did have. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and that it's helpful and let's get started. So starting off we've got some dusty purples. The one from the Peru collection is this one in the middle, Susie Will Quechua Later. And that one's like a dusty kind of grapey purple. I actually thought it was closest to OPI Super Cute in Pink which is from the Hello Kitty collection but as you can see this one is much dustier and not as vibrant and the um, one from the Hello Kitty collection is also a Crelly. So I did compare it to China Glaze Pretty Fit which is a little bit pinker. Um, the one that's closest is OPI's Lucky Lucky Lavender but it is a little bit lighter in color. I did also think OPI Sparrow Me the Drama might be a little bit close but it is much more pink and closer to China Glaze Pretty Fit. So overall I did not find any dupes in my collection. Okay, so next up we have the blue of this collection. This one is OPI's Alpaca My Bags. This one is kind of like a gray blue Crelly finish and I did not really find anything similar. So just for my um, own curiosity, I pulled a China Glaze Pearl Jam in. The closest one I could find was Essie's Poolside Service, but it is darker and more green than Alpaca My Bag. Someone also requested Essie Udon no Me. It's the same shade shade family that kind of dusty gray blue but much lighter and then these three I thought would be similar they're a much different tone they don't have that kind of greenish undertone to them so Zoya Kristen Zoya Darby and then this one was requested OPI check out the old geysers from the Iceland collection but you can see that it's not it's very much a different kind of um, shade tone so so if you put them side by side, they are very different. Okay, so next up we have kind of the purple neutral of the collection, which is OPI Seven Wonders of OPI, the second one right here. And I could not find anything similar as you can see. I thought OPI Parley Vu OPI might be close, but it's definitely much darker. They're they're in the same color family. They're kind of that dusty purpley mauve color, but but not really similar, it's just so much darker. And then I did get a request for purple Palazzo pants and this one is obviously much more purple than this one. I would consider Seven Wonders of OPI kind of like a purple neutral color. And then I pulled in these other two, Zoya Trudith and OPI Planks a lot. And those are much more purpley and less neutral than Seven Wonders. And then just for comparison's sake, I threw in Suzy Will Quechua later, just so you can see that this one is in fact much more purpley, purpley pink, I guess, than the other ones. So moving on to the deep purpley kind of raisin shade of the collection, which is the middle one, which is OPI's Yes My Condor Can Do. I found it hard to find polishes that had this purpley undertone, kind of that raisin shade. And so the only two I pulled for this are OPI's I Sing In Color, which is pretty close, honestly. And um, OPI's William Tell Me About OPI, which appears to be a little bit darker. They look very similar under this lighting, but I think Condor is a little bit more purpley and Icing in Color is a little bit more Crelly-ish, if that makes sense, whereas this one is a cream finish. So no dupes, but they are pretty close. But this polish was a limited edition polish and this one's definitely an older polish. Okay, next up is the um, lightest shade of the collection, which is OPI's Machu Picchu. This one really is like a dusty peach color. That's kind of like the only way I can describe it. It's neutral, but it definitely has that dusty peach undertone to it. I could not find anything that I had that was kind of similar. This one has a little bit of a pinky undertone. If you compare it to the others, OPI Climb Every Castle is very much 
um, lighter than Machu Picchu. Essie's Perennial Chic I thought would be close, but it's warmer in tone. OPI Stop It I'm Blushing is definitely not as dusty or deep as Machu Picchu, and Zoya April is probably the closest one I could find, but again, it doesn't have that like almost dusty pinky undertone that Machu Picchu has. Okay, so here I just combined the two kind of deeper reds of the collection. There, there are two deeper reds, a medium and a kind of a deeper brick red. So I just included them both in here. Your two reds from the Peru collection are Como Sayama, which is the darker one, and I Love You Just Be Cusco, which is down here. Now, I had many more to compare to the darker one than I did to the lighter one. You can see if you look at these lighter ones down here that I really only compared these two. St. Peter's Burgundy is an older OPI polish and it's kind of like a jelly finish. It's also much pinker in tone. Um, Love You Just Be Cusco is a brick, warm brick red to me. When I compare it to these other ones, it almost looks like it has like a terracotta like orange undertone. OPI's by popular vote from the Washington DC collection um, looks almost pink compared to these three. Moving on to the top ones, um, Como Sayama is from the collection. The closest it looks like is Can't Read Without My Lipstick, which is a Crelly formula, whereas this one is a cream formula. I thought it would be close to Lost on Lombard, which it is, but Lost on Lombard is cooler in tone than Como Sayama. Uh, Skyfall is very close to these three. I thought they would be similar because I thought Skyfall and Lost on Lombard were pretty similar, but it's a tad bit deeper. And then I threw in OPIs from A to Zurich and it doesn't seem to match the other ones. It's got a cooler undertone. And then we also have We the Female from the Washington DC collection. That one's pretty close too, but it's not as warm toned as Komosayama. Okay, so moving on, here are the purples. Um, the one from the collection is OPI's Grandma Kissed a Gaucho, which is right here. This one I mentioned in my video is kind of like a grapey purple, but it is a jelly finish, so it is sheer and you have to build it up. I did, I just tossed in these top three just so you could see the tone differences because Grandma Kissed a Gaucho is very like pure color and Seven Wonders of OPI which is from the collection is very dusty and neutral so so I just threw them in so you can see the differences between these two which are both from the Peru collection. So comparing these four purples which were the closest I could get to Grandma Kiss de Gaucho, OPI's A Grape Fit is a little bit cooler also a cream finish. I Manicure for Beads is I mean I guess it might be the closest but it's much warmer in tone. It's also a cream finish and Funky Dunky is much darker compared to the other three. I thought it would be similar, but um, it's also cream finish and much um, darker and almost like grapey compared to these top three. So moving along to the other neutral of the collection, there's three of them, the first three lightest shades. The one we're comparing is this one in the middle, which is OPI Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. And this one, I kind of had a hard time. As you can see, the colors are kind of all over the place. Um, so I had a hard time finding something that looked similar to this. Um, a lot of things looked similar in the bottle but were very different. The closest I can think that looks like this shade is OPI's Tickle My Francie, which a couple of you requested to see. Although when you compare them side by side, um, somewhere over the Rainbow Mountains kind of has like an orangey undertone and Tickle My Francie has like a mauve color to it. They're kind of the same like dusty tone. OPI My Very First Knockworst is also kind of that same tone but it lacks the pink um, quality to it. Deborah Lippmann's Totally Nude, again that's not really close either. OPI's Don't Bossa Over Me Around was requested and this one doesn't have that warmth to it. It's a nude, kind of that dusty nude, but it doesn't have the warm tone that these other ones do. China Glaze Low Maintenance I thought would be similar, so I pulled it, but it's more pinky. Sally Hansen Miracle Gel, I just had this sitting next to me, and I thought it looked similar, but obviously 
that was not right. And I also had this one sitting next to me, China Glaze My Lodge or Yours, which is kind of the same tone, just like a darker brown version of Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains. And I thought I would just throw these in as well. So I just threw in um, two others from the collection. You can see the three lightest shades together if I just remove this. So these are the three lightest shades from the collection, just so you can see them side by side. Machu Picchu and Somewhere Over the Rainbow Mountains definitely have that kind of peachy dustiness to it. And you can see that Seven Wonders, it's much more purpley mauve -y. Okay, so this sad little comparison um, is for the lightest red in the collection, which is kind of like a terracotta shade, which is OPI's My Solar Clock is Ticking. And really the only thing even remotely close was OPI's Yank My Doodle from the Washington DC collection. I really thought they would be similar, but when you compare them side by side, My Solar Clock is Ticking has like that pinky red undertone, and Yank My Doodle has that orangey undertone. I really thought they would be similar but they're definitely red kind of versus orange undertones. Next up is the other purple of the collection which is OPI's Don't Toot My Flute. I pulled You're Such a Budapest because they're pretty much the exact same polish just different tones. They have that Crelly formula. They're a little bit more difficult to work with because you do have to build them up on the nails but they're like exactly the same polish just different shades so don't toot my flute as obviously um more purple and when you compare them side by side you're such a budapest looks like a little bit more kind of blue periwinkle toned the closest i could find to don't toot my flute was polywana lacquer it is a little bit lighter almost like more lavender whereas i think don't toot my flute kind of looks a little bit deeper and dustier. I also got a request for Essie's Virgin Snow so you can see that it is much lighter and a little bit cooler. I did get a request for I Am What I Amethyst from OPI but it's about 50% lighter than Don't Toot My Flute so I didn't compare it. It's more along the lines of Essie's Virgin Snow. So last up is the pink of the collection, which is OPI's Lima Tell You About This Color. And the reason I kept saying it was like a dusty bubblegum pink <laughs> is because it does have a little bit more dustiness than these typical bubblegum pinks. I pulled Malibu Peer Pressure from the California Dreamin' Collection, and it is much more vibrant. Susie Nails New Orleans is close to this one, but Susie Nails New Orleans has a terrible formula. It's just awful awful to work with and it's not as dusty. When you compare them to each other, Lima tell you about this color from the Peru collection. It almost has like a dusty mauve undertone to it. I also compared it to OPI flip flops and crop tops, which as you can see is not a dupe either. So I hope you guys enjoyed this comparison video. I don't really think I found any dupes at all. The closest were these darker reds when you compare them to Como Sayama, which is the warm dark brick red, but I think that one is a little bit warmer, and that's the closest dupe I could find. So I hope you guys found this helpful. I tried to incorporate every single person's requests, so I tried to incorporate everybody's requests, and I thank you for um, giving me some comparisons that I didn't think of. So thank you guys as always for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye guys.